So in this first section here, the first U that we made, we're gonna go right at the top of that U and we're gonna make the top of the wings. And these are gonna come out at a curve almost all the way to the side of your paper. And the idea is let's try and make these look the same on each side. And they don't have to be perfectly the same, but around the same length and the same kind of curve. Butterflies have really big wings. This is a monarch butterfly. And in the summertime, you might see these around. Okay, the second part we're gonna do, just below that um, top of the wing where you met the side of the body, just below that, we're gonna come down and make a line that angles down. This is just gonna be the top part of the wing. It's gonna help us put all those designs into the wing later. So that one also should be about the same on this side, the left and the right. We'll try to make them pretty balanced. Okay. And then we're going to make the bottom of the wings come right off the bottom of the body. So I just marked the two spots where I want the bottom of the wing. This is gonna come around in a curved line and touch the second line we did. So right from the bottom of that big long U we made, we're gonna come around in a curve and just touch that line, that um, second line. We Now we have to connect this top wing and the um, curve that we just made. So to connect that, we're gonna make a curve at the end and then come down and meet that line. So here on the left, I'm making a little bit of a C shape and come down and meet that line. Now I have my butterfly's wings. So these wings look pretty plain, but you see all the designs that are on the uh, monarch's wings. So we wanna make sure we add all of those designs. So the first design we're gonna add is on the top wing. We're gonna come right underneath this first line we made and make a long U shape or like a teardrop shape that comes out from the body and goes all the way out onto the wing and try to make the same shape on the other side. So this is a long teardrop shape. Now from the end of that teardrop shape, we're gonna come out and make three little U shapes. And then I'm not touching the line I made, I'm gonna come right next to that line and make another line. So these lines right here are parallel lines. So I came out from my teardrop shape, I made three little bumps, and then I followed that line right next to the um, first part of the wing that I made. Now from these three bumps, you can now connect that all the way up to your teardrop shape. I'm starting to make some of those shapes that are black in my reference drawing here. So now let's do that on the other side. We're gonna go 
and do that parallel line following our line in between the wings. Before I get to the end, I'm gonna make one, two, three little bumps, like waves almost, and then connect that to my teardrop shape. And each of those points is gonna connect. And every butterfly has different shapes on its wings, so you can make them a little bit bigger or smaller, however you like. The nice thing about this butterfly wing is we don't have to make it perfect. All right, let's do the bottom wing. Just here in the middle of this, this U shape we put below the head. I'm gonna start right next to that U shape. And I'm gonna come down and make a U like this. There's a lot of U shapes in our butterfly. Then I wanna try and do the same thing on the other side. Now I'm going to come from, this is that center line we did originally. I'm going to come right where my U meets that line. And I'm going to now make some of those little wave shapes again. So I just followed that down the side of the wing. And now I'm going to do one, two, three, four little waves. And then I'm going to come up to the top of my U shape. So now I have this little part that's going to end up being where all the black with the white spots is over here. I have all of that. And I want to connect those waves up to that long U that I put in there. So now on the other side, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to come down and make four bumps or waves. And then connect all the way up to the top. And each of those waves is going to get connected. So how are we doing everybody good? Good. All right. Good. You can give me a thumbs up too. It's a little overwhelming. <laughs> There's a lot of um, little lines and U's and shapes. But the nice thing is when you color all this in, it looks it's great. It's going to look a lot better. Yeah. And you know what? We're going to leave some white. See those white dots on our butterfly following all around the edge of the wing? We're going to leave some white dots in there and it's going to look really nice. So that's the next thing we're going to do is. I want you to put a whole bunch of white circles all around the edge here. These are gonna be little white circles that we're not gonna color in. You see there's even some, that first U shape we made for the body, there's even a few white circles on that. So I'm talking about right here on the, butterfly's body. 
you can even put a couple on its head. Those are not the eyes, but they almost look like eyes. They're some sort of uh, spots so that maybe the butterfly looks a little more scary and it won't have any predators eat it. So I'm putting a whole bunch of little circles all around along this edge here. I also want to do them up here on this top part that's also going to be white spots on the black edge. And the reason we draw them with our pencil first is it'll be easier if we outline them and then just color around them with our black when we get there. Make bigger ones in this large area. The end of the wing. And you can make this any number of circles that you want. If you want a lot of circles, go ahead. So I put a few over here on the body, and then I put white circles all the way around the outer edge. You might even notice there's a few little white stripes on the uh, bottom of the butterfly's body. If you wanna put some stripes on your butterfly, just remember not to color them in. So the last thing I wanna do is, um, and if you look closely here, you can see there's antenna and two front legs that we can see. The butterfly has, the other legs are hidden underneath the, um, underneath the wing. But let's put in two antennas and two front legs. So you can have your antenna coming out like that. If you like your antenna to go um, straight up off the top of the head, you can do that. And then right at the top of that long U you put in under the head, we're gonna put in the front legs. So the front legs are gonna come up and they have kind of a knee in them. So they're bent, they have an angle. So we're gonna put in the front legs. So now I have antenna here on the top of the head and the front legs. And the reason we can see those front legs is that our butterfly is on top of a flower. So this butterfly is right in the center getting some um, pollen out of um, and some nectar possibly out of the um, flower. So if you would like to put your butterfly on a flower, a great way to do that is the center of the flower is going to be a big circle right around the antenna and the front legs. Just seeing the top of that circle. And if you want to add the petals, you're only going to see some of the petals but I'm gonna have all my petals coming off of that center that I just drew. Some of them will be hidden. Can we outline? If you are ready to outline, you can go ahead and outline. 
Yay. So the hard part about this is you're going to have to outline all those little circles you drew because those are going to be on the black um, border. So all the black around here, we're going to outline all of those. So go ahead with your thin black pen. It's going to be a lot of black, so um, hopefully everybody has a little bit thicker pen as well to fill in some of the black. A black marker, great. But you're going to want to go ahead and make all of those circles outlined. It will be easier to remember where you want them. This is going to take so long. <laughs> you could always do all the outlining and finish it later in time for Mother's Day. Mother's Day Sunday. But think of it like a coloring book, like with a lot of little things to color. So once it's all outlined, if you're, you have to run to a class or you have something going on or you're bored, <laughs> you can um, go ahead and finish coloring later. The coloring uh, you actually could do at another time too because you could change the colors and really make your own kind of um, species of butterfly. This one happens to be orange and black, but if your mom has a favorite color, and maybe you want to make a butterfly that's her favorite color. I'm also going to outline those stripes I put on the back of the body. So right here on the bottom of the body, I put a couple stripes. You can see from my picture here that the butterfly has a couple little stripes here. So if you want to put those. The other hard thing is all of those shapes we made, those teardrop shapes, those leaves. We actually want to outline all of those because they're actually black on the butterfly's wings. We're going to have a lot of erasing to do. <laughs> well, anything that's in the black parts, you don't really have to erase because the black will go right over. Yeah. So really just where the white is and then any lines that might show through the orange or whatever color you make your butterfly. If you have a nice big eraser, hopefully you can go pretty quick. Mm -hmm.
And the last thing you can outline if you want is the flower, if you drew it. The flower, you can make any color you want. This one has to also be orange, but I did one card earlier and I made the flower pink. Just so you could see your butterfly a little bit better. Wow, yours is great. I've drawn it a few times today, so <laughs> I have a lot of practice. They're pretty tricky to draw, though, with these um, all these patterns in there. Yeah. So. And you guys don't have to rush to keep up, but I'm going to just show you some ways to make the wings look a little more realistic. I'm going to use a little bit thicker pen and make some of these lines in here a little bit fatter because they're actually like a black um, line that's in between the orange areas of the wing. They're not just a thin um, kind of outline. This pen is running out. So by making those a little bit thicker, if you have a little bit fatter pen, and then all of that edge that you put all of those white circles in, you're gonna have to be very patient. All of that is going to be filled in and you see how I'm leaving all those white circles. You have to be very careful to go around your white circles. I'll fill in the in. If you do fill them in by accident, you can go over with a white pencil if you have white colored pencil or white crayon or pastel. And after you have all your black done, the white pastel or crayon or pencil will go right over the black. It won't be as bright white, but you will be able to still see those white dots. So you see how those white dots are starting to come out there. The whole body is also black with some white dots and white stripes. I hear you're erasing that.
My hands are tired. <laughs> you could go in and do some of the other color and then go back to it too. Mm -hmm. If you want to go into the. Whoever said that. Do your hands hurt too? Yeah. That's why I did this drawing on Thursday in case it took you an extra day to do it and you want to finish it for Mother's Day. Did it on Friday or Saturday. Maybe you wouldn't have time. Now we have all kinds of time to finish our butterflies.
Finished. Hello. Are you just saying hi? <laughs> Do you have a question? I'm finished. You did all the color too? You did all the color too? Yeah. No. So now the next outlining. Thing, you're gonna pick the color for your butterfly. You're gonna pick the color for your butterfly. Yeah. See how I'm filling in all of those yeah. little Theme sections. Theme sections. I'm doing mine in a kind of a light, a light orange. I'm doing mine in blue. Blue is a great idea. It was a great idea. You said last time I was in, you said there's no you. Last time I was in, you said there's no you. So you can use your favorite color. You can use mom's favorite color. You can use mom's favorite You can use different colors. I'm you doing use different colors. all in the same color. All a lot of butterflies have color. different colors. A lot of butterflies have different Fresh, colors. We have an echo. There is an echo. Fresh, I'm we have an echo. echo. Yeah, I'm not sure why. Yeah, I'm not sure why. Is that better? I think it's because. I think it's because. Uh, uh, your voice is coming out of. Your voice is coming out of. Computer or something. Computer or something. I think you can hear it. I think you can hear it. Does it still have an echo? Does it still have an echo? No. Yeah, I just had to play around with the settings. I, I can hear your echo. I can hear your echo. Everyone's echoing. Everyone's echoing. Even me. Even me. <laughs> so crazy. Go crazy. Why is it like? Why is it like? But then stops and then it goes. Stops and then it goes. I really hate the echo. I really hate the echo. Echo, stop. Stopped. What? Did the echo stop? Somehow, yes. Will, it's you. You're my um, my computer expert again. Whatever you did, you made it work. No, I don't think it was me. <laughs> Somebody might have had their settings so that they were looking at, um, they were using maybe their computer audio and also uh, maybe an external microphone. Uh -huh. Maybe, I but it was know. echoing for everyone. That it was. And that's confusing. This is better. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot better. Yeah, it's really better. 
So I filled in all one color. If you want to add a little, um, little bit of a shadow or something for um, butterfly, you can use another color. I'm just using a little bit of this brighter orange, just at the bottoms of each of these um, little wing sections. You can blend colors a little bit. If you have colored pencils, uh, those can go right over a marker as well. So if you take a colored pencil and you wanna add a little bit of color to your butterfly. Um, I'm not gonna do my flower. I'm gonna show you guys how to just um, do the inside of the card if you wanted to make it into a card. So I took a second piece of paper that I also folded in the same way. And if I put that inside, you see that the back of my paper has all my marker and you can see through it. But if I put that second piece of paper inside and then um, I have this little glue stick, you guys might have a glue stick around, you can use tape. Um, if I put the um, glue stick on the back of my butterfly or on the outside of the folded piece. Now I have it nice and clean inside. So mom can't see all my, um, all my marker that went through the paper. This is all the marker that's bleeding through. So now if I glue that in, it's nice and clean. And then make sure it folds really nice. And now when you open it up, it'll be nice and clean. So you can write inside um, and it won't go through because uh, your paper inside is doubled. Um, don't forget to erase any of the lines you don't want. I forgot to do that with the black, but the black doesn't show through very much. Now I can't see all the marker that went through my paper there. It's just a clean inside. Um, the flower, it's a nice thing to make the flower a different color than the butterfly. Like I showed you guys, this butterfly happens to be the same color as the flower. Um, but when I did mine earlier, I made the flower into a pink with a yellow. You can see it a lot clearer. The butterfly um, is nice and colorful when you don't have the um, same color flower. So that's something nice to do. Then the other thing I did for this background, um, I made it into a design almost like rays of the sun. So I just used two different color greens. Um, if you wanted to do that on your um, background, because you only have a little bit of background here showing. So if you think about the center of your flower, like the center of the sun, and make rain coming all the way out. So coming out all the way to the edge of my paper. <coughs> I can use those to make a fun different background and then fill up my whole card with color. And those don't even have to be green, they can be whatever you like. So I can make those purple if I want. Whatever color your mom likes.
And if I do every other one or do a pattern of different colors going all the way around. There's our butterfly. How's everyone doing? Good. Did you think of something nice to write inside? Yep. Yep. So that's the last thing you can do is write something really nice inside. And you have your um, monarch butterfly for mom. Can I see what everybody did before I go? Okay. Okay. Yeah.